Greetings everyone, my name is Darian Quilloy and I am a horror artist who designs creatures and other funky things. Today I'll be showing you how I draw creatures and how I use specific traits to make things creepy. Warning: In this video there will be discussion of disturbing topics and graphic content. This video's purpose is for artistic and educational purpose, meant to help artists with their work. Viewer discretion is advised. First off, what is creepy? Some may confuse it with being scary, but this is not the same thing. Scariness is the feeling of fear of a threat. The brain reacts to a situation that poses some sort of harm. Creepiness is the feeling of uneasiness. There isn't a visible or known threat, but your brain still reacts negatively. There are many things that can be considered creepy, so I'll be specifically discussing what I think is creepy in this tutorial. First, the sketch. I will start with a humanoid base because people can connect to human-like features. So if something unsettling is on a human base, it causes confusion, creating that uneasy feeling. The main focus should be in the eyes and the mouth, so constructing them is vital to the effect you want. The eyes tell a lot about someone. They are the window to the soul, or lack of one. They play a large role on what a person is thinking or focusing on, so to add creepiness you need to make them look unnatural. For me, I like to add massive pupils, not entirely looking at anything at all. The mouth also tells us a lot about the person. It shows their mood and reactions to their environment. This drawing will have a smiley face. This mouth will be slightly wide and agape. Although a smile is a friendly gesture, with all the other unsettling characteristics, it will confuse the brain and categorize it as a threatening gesture. Next is the color. I go for a creamy white with a reddish purple shade. This makes the details like veins and marks on the skin very prominent. It also connects our brain to the appearance of sickness or deceased bodies. We can also add hues of green and red to show irritation, bruising, or infection, causing more triggers in the brain that something is wrong. I blend these in and add some other things, like which way the light's coming from, but not getting into too much detail because this is only the base color. For the eyes and mouth, I make them deformed and inhuman looking, red and swollen. Our brains react this way because in nature, when something like this happens, it's usually very bad. Also, for the nose, ears, and hair, get rid of most of them. They do not efficiently make your brain react the same way. Plus, the empty spots make other features pop more. Although that's just my opinion, you can draw whatever you want, this is just for this specific tutorial. This is the part of the video where I ask you to hit that like button and subscribe. This is my first YouTube video, so I want to see if you guys enjoy it. I plan on doing more in the future, so turn on that bell to be notified when I upload next. Once those are done, we go into lighting. The dark is unsettling, it hides potential threats and how we should respond. Many types of lighting will work, like harsh shadow, underglow, or even backlighting. But, for this one, I will have the light come from the top corner, with some harsher shadows, but not too much to hide any of the major details. Almost done. Now we add my favorite part, the highlights. Using a harsh white line or spots on the surface that line up with your light source, it adds a realistic shine or gloss to the skin. Smaller, harsh bits indicate very wet surface, while broader, blurred spots means it's moist or slimy. Once you've added all the finishing touches, that's about it. The full drawing took around an hour and nine minutes, and I think it turned out alright. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, or in the very least, learned something. If you like what I do, go check out my Instagram where I post almost all my art and the finished product of this video. Username is at Darian underscore Quilloy. Link in the description. Again, this is my first video, so tell me what you think in the comments below or what you would like to see next. See you later, and farewell.